You have bought some premium promotions in the most recent past from some other kind of people. Uh, for example, you bought a, a cheap camera from Kodak and a few other things. And bottom line is, as buyers, a mistake you've made, try and get your budget to go farther, is you have bought less than you needed so you could spend more per unit. Does that make sense? For example, if you had um, a dollar to spend and you needed a hundred thousand, you had a hundred thousand uh, dollar budget, maybe you only bought eighty five thousand so you could spend more than a dollar. Marketing has caught you at your devious game and has said to you, look, don't do that. We've got fifteen thousand people out there that were waiting for a widget and they didn't get them and we're looking a little stupid. So if you do this again, we're going to take the heels off your shoes and make it painful for you to walk. You must buy 100,000 pieces this time. So marketing is going to be a little bit uh, nuts about this. They want 100,000 ashtrays. That's a problem you got. Now, I'm not going to tell them that. So this is confidential information. You, you might be able to play games with the, the, the quantity. Here's the second problem. Originally, you didn't have a budget for this item. An ashtray's got to cost a certain amount of money, and it was okay. But a disaster has occurred on one of the lines we send out there. We've, we've got a bunch of generators out there that we're recalling, and the cost of doing that is enormous. So everyone's budgets have been cut. And marketing walked in today and said, I don't know what you guys were planning on spending on this ashtray promotion, but You've only now got $16,000 to spend on it. Now, let's make this simple. What that means is 16 cents an ashtray is the maximum price you can pay. So if you want to go down there to where it says uh, your maximum price. Now, you'd like to pay as little as 14 cents if it's possible because you've got to break its problem occasionally. You have to replace them and, and whatever. Now, what you've been quoted for this ashtray, 25 cents, so that's, God, that's way over the price. However, there are some things you might be able to do without in this ashtray. For example, the ashtray has been quoted three color silk screen logo on the bottom of it. And you could go to two color, one color, or no color if you had to. It's also been quoted wrapped in, in a, a tissue and packaged in a box, and the box is printed. So it's conceivable that you could knock off the wrapping, the box, have them bulk shipped, or whatever. Here's the reason you might want to go down to 14 cents. You've got to have 100,000. The goddamn thing's made out of glass, so it could be broken. If you could negotiate um, a no-breakage delivery, in other words... Uh, so I was going to say, aren't they responsible for that? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good place to yeah, come okay. from. In other words, if I order 100,000, I get 100,000. Period. I, if, they, if it shows up 99,000, if it shows up 100,000 and three of them are broke, you owe me three. Now, traditionally in the glass business, they've never done that for you before. Here's your last problem. Today's date is July, whatever the hell it is. You may not know this, but it, it snows in places in August. People tend to buy one snow brush a year unless they, they break it. If you're not in the Rocky Mountain states with snow brushes by the middle of August and snow hits, you don't get the sale. So you must have delivery of these ashtrays, the package with this stuff, and ship it by August 10th. Three weeks. <laughs> Three weeks. Three weeks. Now, you have a quote from a Japanese company for a black plastic ashtray that looks like a black plastic <laughs> ashtray <laughs> for 14 cents. You're, these guys do not know it's plastic, don't know it's black and, or anything else. It just happens to be. Now, could you use this black plastic ashtray? Yes. But I got to tell you something, Rita. 
As a buyer, you wouldn't be doing your job if you had to get this yesterday. I mean, marketing would say, what the hell did you buy? This looks like garbage. And that's at 14 cents, Paul? That's at 14 cents. That'll solve all your problems except you've done a bad job buying a premium promotion piece because the, the real value of the Cracker Jack gift in the box is you really want the gift. So when these salespeople go out and start selling these uh, packages of snow brushes and say there's a real nice ashtray in there, it ought to be a nice ashtray. Now, you haven't seen the ashtray yet, but these guys have traditionally put a pretty good product out to you. And that's, that's their sales call going to be today. Take a look at the, the product. Now, if you don't lay in your order today, you're probably not going to get your delivery. Here's the other thing. The other company, Japo, is really going to ship from someplace in the Pacific Basin. Um, you've never dealt with them before. And there's no way they can make three weeks. They might. <laughs> they, they might be able to say they can. Um, almost doesn't matter. Truth is, if you have to buy that black plastic ashtray, you didn't do very well. 